This is a tutorial which shows you how to create a hardbound looking book cover by using Photoshop and your return button over and over again. So first thing you do is you go to psdcovers.com. On that website you can download a whole bunch of different templates from books to everything else. In this case I chose hardbound template number four. You download it, they give you a zip, and then you go into Photoshop. Once you're in Photoshop, open the Actions box. It'll look just like this, and press the hamburger menu, which is in the upper right corner, and load action. From there, you're going to select the action that you unzipped. I've already installed mine, so we're going to go straight into it. I'm just going to move this to the left over here so we can see and still be able to look at the layers panel. After you've opened the image that you would like to have as your book cover, my actions are here, and there's step one and step two. I am going to press on the drop down so that way all of the actions are showing. And from here, I'll just click on step one and press play. It's going to open a new screen for me to title my file. So I'm just going to put Law of Attraction Secrets, press OK. On the second one, it's going to ask what the document title is. I recommend doing that. I'm going to go ahead and type Rachel and Robert's names. And from here, I'm pretty much just pressing OK over and over and over again. There's nothing else that I do from here except for watch everything go. So you can either continue to press OK or you can press return. Either way works. It's just going to keep on going through all of the different actions that have been recorded. You'll notice that sometimes this will get stuck. As you can see, my little cursor is there with a little plus sign cursor thing. If that happens, click on the image itself. If that doesn't work, click on the layer and it'll keep on going. So those are the methods to keep it going through. I'm not certain if my version of Photoshop is just weird. I've seen other videos where everything's just going automatically, but in this case, I'm just gonna keep on moving along with what I have and use the method that works for me. So you're just gonna keep on pressing continue all the way through, and as I mentioned before, if it gets stuck, just press on the layer panel and it'll continue to go. To know where it is in the process is um, by looking on the left hand side. As you can see, it's moving through all the different actions. We're almost complete here. You'll know that you're almost complete because that little spine on the left side and the pages on the right side starts to appear. Keep on going, a few more steps to go. Eventually you'll get to a place where it'll stop and allow you to upload your image. You'll know that you're complete because it will have this front or back thing. And also you'll notice that this play button has reappeared. So that means everything has stopped. So this is where you copy and paste. So I'm going to select all copy and paste the image. It might look a little smaller than it actually is. What you're going to do is transform the image so you can resize it. The way you can do that easily is by pressing Command T if you're on a Mac. And I'm just going to expand this image so that it covers the black portion of this book spine here. The most important part about this is uh, you're having the top and the bottom of the book cover the whole image and that right side is going to be the pages so you don't have to cover that one. I'm just going to try shuffling around just to make sure that I get this image all the way to the edge and there we go. Close that drop down and go to step number two. Open the drop down, press on step two and press play. This is going to turn this into an actual book. So again you're just going to keep on pressing return or OK. So as you can see it's beginning to form this image into a book and I'm not having to do anything here. I'm just pressing return over and over again. Eventually that image is going to fit into the shape of the book. And there you go. So once you're complete, which I almost am, I'm just going to keep on going through the process until this play button becomes unhighlighted. Almost done. Yep. Now it's just making the shadows and everything to make it look like an actual hard book. Okay, and now I'm complete because you see this play button is no longer highlighted. So there you go. If you're going to place this book cover over a background that's not white, I highly recommend hiding the background by pressing the little I right here and then saving it as a PNG. Otherwise, if it doesn't matter to you and you want it to have a white background, then save it as a JPEG. And remember to save this PSD as well because I've had 
trouble in the past um, resizing from the image itself. So you might want to save the PSD and resize it and save as necessary from there. And that was a tutorial of how to create a hardcover book image by just pressing the return button and using Photoshop. If you like this, please do press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see other tutorials as well as my lifestyle blogs.